What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link that also to ask me to put it up, so I'll put it up. Thanks everybody for supporting. But this video, though, this video is entitled Are You a Friend to Your Friends? Um, sometimes people feel like they got friends. Uh, but the question about your friends is this. Are you, you know, are you their friend? Or are they your friend? Uh, i.e., let's flip this around. Are you a good friend to them and they just, eh, back? Right? Because, you know, a friend is an ally, a supporter, somebody who's supposed to be down for you. And, you know, what I see in society is everybody says they have friends and family, but a lot of people are halfway down for the friends, especially like the friends that's, that's down for you, you halfway down for your friend. And then you go out and you call this person your friend, but you're not very friendly to them, but when you're in need, they're your best friend. They always there for you. They always down. But see, here's the problem. That means they're wasting their time with you. You're not their friend. Because if they're always down for you, what happens when they're down? Where you at? You know, when you are you that friend that will drop things you're doing? And sacrifice for your friend? Or are you that friend who wants your friends to sacrifice for you? But when it's time to return the favor, you're too busy. You know, are you the friend who can recall all the nice things your friends did for you? You know? All oh, my friends did this, 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 this. And then if those same friends say, say, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, that happened. And what did you do? I liked your post. You remember that one time when I gave you that that that, that, that Kool Aid cup? When we were like eleven. You really appreciated that. We thirty five. See, are you a friend to your friends? Now. You, you know, are you the friend who wants your friends to be better? Or are you the friend who wants to beat your friends down so they'll never be better? Hmm? You know, are you the friend that when this person is sick, they got your back? Or when this person is down on their luck, they got you. Or you the friend where you only come around for the good times. And see, here's, the, here's where, where uh, part of this becomes very, very problematic. Because your friends, you talk to each other. And what winds up happening is... You start talking about how you treat your other friends. Or they see how you react with your other friends. So you can't talk about your friend good in public. But privately, you, privately you're not a good friend to them. Where they do that at? You know? I got so much love for this person. Well, how come you don't show that person that love when you're around them? Did so you only say that shit around other people? Or you talk bad about them. And then go back to them because you know they got your back. So are you a good friend to your friends? You know, are your friends happy to see you and hear from you? Are your friends happy to get a break from you or or, or they go ghost on you because they get tired of you? Yeah, that's the question. Are you a friend to your friends? You know, are, 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 you know, sometimes you have friends 
who um they're gonna call you out on your BS. They still your friends, but they're gonna call you out on your BS. See, you don't wanna if if, if you wanna be around that friend, y'all friends. If you don't wanna be around that friend, you wanna keep being on the BS. Now, here's the thing. What happens when your friend replaces you? With a better friend. This is why I'm saying this, making this video. Because see, sometimes when you're not, when you're not a good friend to your good friend, they'll replace you. Or get rid of you. And then all of a sudden, all of the common sense kicks in like, I should have been better. I didn't have to do that. I should have did this. Why we don't talk no more? You know, I got friends that I've been friends with over 25 years. We don't have to talk to talk. You know, I can see the look in their eyes. I can hear the tone in their voice. I can feel the energy through the phone or face to face. What's up? I can feel even when they regret being in my presence because they know, you know, I remember everything. I don't talk much about the shenanigans, but they know I remember. So to, have, to give me that look like I treated you like this then, and I understand why we separated. And now I want my friend back, but it's never going to be the same because you moved on. And it's like, yeah. What am I going to go back? We still friends, but... Nah. Nah, not 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 doing that again. You know, um sometimes people are people are friends for you to you. You know, and sometimes you take advantage of this idea that you've been a better friend to somebody than they've been to you because they've actually been a better friend to you. And what I mean by that is Sometimes you start thinking about all the things you did for a person or the things you thought you did for a person and how you were there for a person and you resent them because you think you're a better friend than they are. And then they have to start running down a laundry list of, you know, the eight things that they actually did and in the, in the times you actually did, did them in, lowballed them, threw them under the bus, left them hanging. Or, or, and then it's like, wait, I did that? I did that? I did that? I thought, uh, no, they just reacted to, to, to you really not being, they got the hint. Every time you did something for them, you, you, it was like, you owe me. And every time they did something for you, it was because I'm helping out a friend. And they, they started to realize that you keep a score because you feel like you owed every day that you do something. But every day that they did something, they were just doing it for a friend. And then they realized, wait, 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 wait. You think you're entitled to me being this good to you? Or me being a friend? Oh, oh, oh I, I owe you? You think I'm paying you back for, the, for what you've done? Even though I've done way more for you? Oh, okay. So, so when I do something, it's worth this much. When you do something, it's worth this much. No problem. Let's see how this plays out in the end. You know, that happens. And then people like, you know, now you got to go out into the world and gauge. You, you wind up gauging your friendship by your other friends or newer friends. So you can't keep running into new best friends. If you, keep, if you get older and you keep getting new best friends and you keep shedding old best friends, nine times out of ten, it's you. Nine times out of ten, it's you. Because you're going to want to keep trying to circle back to those old best friends because you keep burning bridges. You know? Everywhere you go, that's where you are. And if multiple of your friends, if, if, if you're one of those friends where all of your friends tell you the same thing about yourself, these are your friends, remember? You know, the people that you... 
you know, and that includes boyfriend and girlfriend, people who know you intimately. If they say the same thing and it's not good, it is what it is. So, like, share, subscribe. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.